Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. And we were called out to help this homeowner uh, several years ago. And the homeowner wanted to put a little addition on the back of this tractor shed. This old tractor shed is probably uh, 50 years old or more. And uh, wanted to build a two-story uh, barn here that was heated. And the homeowner doesn't use the barn too often, uh, mostly on the weekends. And he wanted it to be very energy efficient because he wanted to keep it heated yet not waste a lot of fuel doing so. And so uh, we were called to advise the homeowner and do the work that uh, was necessary during construction. So what we wound up doing is installing a radiant uh, heated floor with a wall mounted tankless boiler which provides hot water to the bathroom and the heat for the uh, radiators upstairs, baseboard radiators, and the radiant heat in the slab on the first floor, and spray foam insulation to make the barn ultra efficient, like a big thermos, uh, very energy efficient, low cost. Let's take a look. This is a boiler. It's a wall-mounted boiler and it's tankless. And uh, what we have is a high efficiency unit. You can tell that the unit is high efficiency. In this case, it's propane, could be natural gas, because we have a PVC uh, exhaust and a PVC intake for the combustion air. So uh, qualities of high efficiency uh, heating equipment are that it doesn't take air for combustion from inside the building. Instead, it has dedicated air for combustion from the outside and it squeezes all the heat out of the combustion gases, sending so little heat up the chimney, which in our case is PVC, that it's very high efficiency. In fact, this is 96% efficient, and so we'll only have 4% of the heat that we paid for with that propane delivery going out the chimney. And because there's so little heat going out, we can run a PVC exhaust. We don't need a masonry chimney. In addition, we have variable speed circulators. So this is a boiler and it makes hot water. And we have a circulator here that goes to the upstairs to run the baseboard heat on the second floor of this barn. The circulator is variable speed. What does that mean? Well, it means that if we only need a little bit of heat, it'll run the hot water through those baseboards slower. Um, and when we need a lot of heat, it'll run that water through those baseboards faster. We have a circulator here for the radiant heat loops that we put in the slab. So during new construction, we insulate on top of the soil and then run these loops throughout the uh, slab that the hot water will go through. And then we pour the concrete and cast the concrete so that those radiant heat loops are inside the concrete. And so what we're doing here is heating up the slab, not to a very high temperature, but there's enough thermal mass here that if we heat this up to uh, 80 degrees or so, uh, boy, we're gonna have a really toasty barn because it's like the entire floor system is a radiator. Uh, in addition, when we open the garage doors, the overhead doors that we have here in the lower floor of this barn, we don't lose all of our heat. Um, if we had a furnace that heated the air, well now when we open the overhead door for uh, five minutes in a cold day, all the heat escapes and when we close the door, the furnace has to start all over again. With radiant heat in a slab, the slab is warm. And so, yes, the, the uh, warm air will go out, but the recovery rate is pretty quick because we have a lot of thermal mass that's already warm. We're also making hot water for, there's a, a bathroom upstairs and there's a, a, a sink down here. And so this uh, system uh, makes hot water for that as well. Here we are in the second floor of this uh, semi-finished barn and the homeowner uh, wanted a heated space and uh, high efficiency. So we have the baseboard radiators which run off our high efficiency wall hung uh, boiler and the roof and the walls are super insulated with spray foam insulation. Spray foam insulation which can be installed in a roof and walls and new construction uh, will air seal the building. So no air can leak out of the building and also insulates to an incredible R7 per inch for closed cell foam. Open cell foam is about R4.5 per inch, but closed cell foam is, uh, is our foam of choice. In the several years since we did the high efficiency heating system and the insulation in this barn for this homeowner, he's finished the inside with this beautiful uh, knotty pine uh, tongue and groove uh, treatment inside. 
but one space that he didn't do is underneath the stairs here where we can still see the two-part foam insulation that's inside the walls. These are uh, two by six walls and uh, there's three inches of foam with R7 per inch makes R21 walls. But more importantly, these walls are air sealed and air can't go uh, through them. So the combination of air sealed walls and a roof with a high insulation uh, R value gives us uh, a barn that's very easy to heat, holds heat very well. It's like a big thermos. The results? An 1800 square foot building that costs less than $400 a year to keep heated. If you'd like to make your home more comfortable, fix rooms that are too cold in the wintertime or rooms that are too hot in the summertime. If you're, anybody in your household has allergies, if you have excessive dust in your house, these are all things that Dr. Energy Saver can help you with and lower your cost of home ownership by reducing your heating and cooling bills. Call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.